gang, welcome back to West Houston Present. Well, today's show starts our 14th year of presenting the area's top musical talent. Once again, we'd like to kick it off. We asked one of our favorite pickers to pay us a visit. A world-traveling blues man. We haven't seen him in a few years, so we have a lot of catching up to do. Today, as West Houston Presents, Toby Walker. <laughs> Please don't go You know I love you so Oh, that's right I'm never gonna stop loving you, man Great to have How you back, you, buddy. Okay. Now, besides playing all over the United States, you also, once a year or so, take a trip and uh, you hit France and England and Wales and yeah. Holland. Oh, yeah. That sounds like really a lot of fun. It's a ball. And how is um, your American... Uh, art form, a com combination of the blues and country, how is it all accepted? It's accepted, it, it's wonderful. You know, I go over there and it's like, ooh, the American blues man is here. Really? You know, it's, they get all excited about it. Uh, I, I really am happy to say sometimes some of the theaters, they have lines around the theater and, you know, me and my manager. And they're not protesters. Oh, no, they're not okay, protesters at okay. all. They don't mind me, <laughs> you know, and they, and they, they just, uh, it's it's always a good show, always good shows, good audiences. A lot of people uh, that I know that tour overseas, they always say that they feel sometimes that uh, American forms of music are more appreciated over there. 
Yeah, you know what? I think every in every country they have their own cliques that absolutely love the music, and you still have mom, dad, buddy, and sis that's shopping in the local store that have no idea about what you know blues music or the old rock music is. But you have a lot of people that do, and they're all enthusiastic about it. Great! You got yeah. a quick road story for us, or uh... yeah, I think so. Uh, Wales. The people in Wales are out of their minds. No offense to the people, but, but they're just great people. You know, you, you know when we, we were in bands years ago, you show up for a sound check, you do your little thing, and then the band, you know, the audience starts rolling in at 8 o'clock. In Wales, they're already in that village hall at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and they're already going nuts when you hit the first. They're just screaming. They're yelling and they're screaming, they're yelling and screaming. In England, if you, you get done with the show, they're just... Brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> in Wales, they're yelling out words we can't say here on the air. Crazy. They're just, yeah, they're really good people over there. That might explain Tom Jones a little bit then. Huh? It sure may. And oh, uh, man. Humperdinck and all those guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, um, you're traveling a lot and you're using agents and. Yeah, I have. There's an agent that I have in the United States that books me uh, all up and down the East Coast and in the Midwest. And then. Uh, when I'm over in England, there's an agent, and then I just picked up a couple of other people over in France and another in Germany. Wow. Yeah. And on your live shows, your wife, Carol, plays upright bass on some, a lot of the there's shows? Some of the shows that she does and some she doesn't. You know, okay. It depends on, on what we're going to be doing. Yeah. Does that change your format then or not really? I or? change formats in the middle of shows okay. that she's even on stage. You know, oh, good. <laughs> so you're ready to adapt uh, to right to what that audience Absolutely. wants at any Absolutely, given moment. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, and uh, that was Baby, Please Don't Go. Yes, it was. And yeah. uh, was that an assimilation of many different performances? I know so many people did that. Yeah, uh, I've been influenced by so many different people, so all of that kind of just comes out somewhere along the lines. People ask me, you know, do you memorize all the things that you're playing? It's like, I only wish. I yeah, mean, right. No, I, it, it's a local structure. There's just a structure, and then we just go with it. Well, that uh, is why it comes out Toby Walker. Yeah, that's I it. guess so, yeah. What's the name of the next tune we're doing? Uh, let's see. I'm going to do this tune. It's called Custard Pie, and the, it, it's a very rhythmic, at least I apply a very rhythmic style to it that I learned in the uh, North uh, Hill Country of Mississippi, where Mississippi Fred McDowell came from. Terrific. We're yeah. ready. Joking won't tell you no lie. I just got a piece of that custard pie. Yeah, give me some of it. Give me some of it. Give me some of it. For you give it all away. Custard pie, sure ain't free. No good gal, good. Enough for me, I said, give me some of it. Give me some of it. Give me some of it. For you give it all away. Yeah, this is how they do. Everything I do, you know, I, I do it good. I said, give me some of it. Give me some of it. Give me some of it, baby. For you give it all away. Oh, 
Whoa, red yeah. hot. <laughs> <laughs> now I it's know it's dance well. music. I'm telling it's you, dance you guys, music. The camera crew is getting crazy here. Yeah, they are. Uh, Look at them jumping uh, around like fleas <laughs> all over the floor. Now, uh, I know as well as all your performing, you also do a lot of different styles of teaching, right? Mm -hmm. um, do you still play and uh, teach at the Yorma's? Yeah, Yorma Kalkinen from uh, Hot Tuna and Jefferson Airplane. He runs a great guitar camp and uh, the Fur Piece Ranch. So I uh, just finished my sixth year uh, teaching there, teaching finger-picking blues and Piedmont-style guitar. And when you go there, would there be like a classroom of people? Yeah, I mean, anywhere it runs anywhere from 6 to 12, 13 people in, in your group. Uh, it's not necessarily a classroom. It's sort of like set up like an old western town, you know. Oh, nice. Yeah, so uh, I, I keep trying to get into the saloon, but, you know, they don't trust me with that. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky if they let you into the salon. <laughs> But um, so when, when, when they're there, um, the group will, you'll, you'll give them a lesson and then they go and they study the lesson. And is it an everyday affair? Yeah, it's an everyday affair. Oh, it, uh, okay. it goes on for a long extended weekend. And uh, the workshops are about, some of them about an hour and a half, two hours, usually in the morning and then another one in the afternoon. The food is off the charts. It's incredible. Uh, and there's always, um, they always have a lot of guest stars that come in. Uh, Dan Hicks came in the other day. Uh, uh, Tony Rice came really? in and did a performance in the Saturday night uh, in the Boy, theater. that's top flight stuff. Yeah, yeah. Now you also have a selected few uh, students that you teach out of your studio. Yes, yeah. In Jersey. That's it. I teach in the studio and also on Skype. Ah, the powers of the internet. Really? So well, I'll tell sit me about right that. There. Well, I'll just, they'll dial in, I'll dial up, and we're just standing there looking at each other in real time. It's like the Jetsons, for those of you that know that. <laughs> I, but we'll just look at each other, and we'll do the guitar lesson right over Skype. So I have people like in uh, New Mexico, England, uh, had a guy over in Beijing, China. Really? Doing a lesson, yeah. That's wonderful. Nine o'clock in the morning and nine o'clock at night. Now, are you still involved in the blues in schools? Absolutely, yeah. And tell me about that one. Uh, once a year, usually during the springtime, I hit like seven schools in the uh, Long Island region of New York. And uh, I go into the schools and I'll do a program of the history of the blues, but then I'll also take the... The, uh, the students come in with whatever instruments they play. So a guitar player, a sax player, uh, any, anything. And I will enlist them and I'll teach them how to play the blues. And once they learn how to do that, they have other kids that are writing blues songs. And at the end, we put the whole thing together with my new band and the, the kids coming up and singing their songs. Boy, that is really something good. That is really good. Now, the Carnegie Hall American Roots mm -hmm. series, mm -hmm. is that a similar or is that a different um, That was class? actually, they took, they took that idea and they just extended it. So I'm actually in the classroom four times. So we've actually just extended that whole program. Wow. Yeah. Boy, you are one busy cat. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's the name of the next tune we'll hear? The next tune uh, is a tune, uh, it's called uh, My Baby's Got a Whiskey Store. Uh, Ooh, oh, you're yeah, in it's, luck. A, it's a tune, uh, My Baby Got a Whiskey Store. Uh, Bob Margolin's bass player, and it, it's, the name's not coming to mind. Of course, it'll come to mind the second we're done with the show. Wrote this tune. Uh, it's, it's just a wonderful tune, and uh, well, we're ready. Uh, you got it. <laughs> I used to go downtown to buy my booze But I was so broke, I'd always lose But now my baby's got a whiskey store My baby's got a whiskey store My baby's got a whiskey store And I don't have to buy it no more My situation used to be mighty tough but now I no longer have to pay for that stuff My brand new baby's got a whiskey store My brand new baby's got a whiskey store My brand new baby's got a whiskey store And I don't have to buy it no more I 
was so broke, I always would lose. But now my baby dresses me in ostrich shoes. My brand new baby's got a whiskey store. My brand new baby's got a whiskey store. Brand new baby's got a whiskey store. Brand new baby's got a whiskey store. just made wreck my health I can't stop drinking from a fountain of wealth my brand new baby's got a whiskey store my brand new baby's got a whiskey store brand new baby's got a whiskey store and I don't have to buy it no more What's the location of that whiskey store? <laughs> yeah, we got to find it. Got to find the baby that's got the whiskey store. Now, uh, I understand you're recording a, another CD. Yeah, in the fall. Going to be going into the studio. Uh, uh, the tentative title right now is What You See Is What You Get. And it's going to be pretty much what you see is what you get. It's just going to be me in front of microphones playing. Oh, I like that yeah, idea. Yeah, it's going to be half electric slide and probably half... Uh, old 12-string guitar I have and some acoustic stuff on there. Um, speaking of your 12-string uh, guitar, mm -hmm. you're a bit of a collector as far as guitars <laughs> go. And uh, I know you have amassed a quite a wonderful collection, but you do sell and buy. I mm -hmm. mean, it's a moving, living, as your interests change. Uh, um, what are a few of your keepers, do you feel? Uh, <laughs> Anything that I like, okay, which the is a lot like. of them. Oh, okay. uh, this one, it actually, yeah. this is an old 1963 Gibson ES120. This it's is a beautiful guitar. It's just got that sound to it. Yep. My keepers are usually the ones that aren't worth a heck of a lot because they're banged up a bit, but that's kind of how I like them. I like that, uh, like that traveled-in look, but it has the sound and the feel. Uh, so yeah, that's the type I like playing. Nice. And do you find these guitars on the road as you go along? Uh, yeah, and then yeah. I, I, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll see it laying there on the side of the road. No <laughs> one's gonna, I'll pick it up and put it in the car before anyone fix sees it up, me. Little, yeah, a little fix it up. <laughs> oh, God. Now, um, Homespun um, DVD Thanks. learning... Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what would you call them? Uh, well, Homespun Tapes was actually started by Happy Traum, a, a folky and blues guy from the from the 60s. And uh, he has, it is, it's burgeoned to a huge degree uh, in his instructional materials. I mean, he's the guy that has worldwide distribution. And wow. uh, I'm really happy to say I just completed my third instructional DVD on that for that company. Uh, all three of them are still available? Absolutely. They are. Yes, they and, are. And um, what are the three different, you know, styles you're teaching? The, the, well, there's two. that uh, One's called Blues Finger Picking Freedom and then Blues Finger Picking Freedom 2. Oh, okay. Uh, and that's really for people that learned how to play something out of a book or a record, and then they, they need to expand on it. And I showed them how to just to do that, how to expand on everything. And the other one is called Finger Picking Hank Williams. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. And they're DVDs. Yes, they're DVDs. And the nice thing about that is you can stop and go and learn at your own speed. Yep. And, and you'll always have those lessons. Absolutely. There the and one, they can download them that? too. They're oh, the nice. magic of the internet. Yeah, oh, they can really? download it and it, you know, pay for it. Boop, dump, it's in your computer. Beautiful. Yeah. How about another tune? Yeah, we can do that. Well, what's this one? This one uh, is half mine and half Furry Lewis. We were talking about okay. Furry Lewis before. It's called Roaches and Bed Bugs. Oh. Yeah, we're yeah. Ready. <laughs> This morning, I looked up on my wall. You know, I got up this morning, looked up on my wall. The roaches and the bed bugs were playing a little game of ball. Score was 20 to nothing, 
The roaches were ahead. Score was 20 to nothing. The roaches were ahead. You know, the roaches got so excited, they kicked me right out of my bed. I got roaches in the closet, roaches in the wall, roaches in my kitchen. I got roaches in the hall. I got a roaches in my sofa. And I got them in my bed. Yeah, I couldn't eat breakfast. The roaches were in my bread. They go like... My friend said, get yourself a cat. You won't have roaches no more. Now, these were New York roaches, so I had to get you a big cat. I got a Bengal tiger. I let him loose on the floor. You know, the New York roaches, they tied his legs up and kicked him out the door. All cans of Raid and Roach Motels I've tried. I even got a used nuclear reactor. I put a little hole in the side. Instead of dying off, the little bastards just multiplied. I got roaches in my closet, roaches in the wall, roaches in my kitchen. I got roaches in the hall. I got a roaches in my socks, and I got them in these shoes. I even got roaches in this guitar, too. Hey. I don't know if Jimmy Green's going to be happy about that. I don't think so. Okay. But it's a New York roach, so it just uh, looked at me and walked away. There you, oh, yeah. boy. You yeah. need better boots. Yeah, I need. Oh, God. Now, any long-term goals, though? Yeah. Uh, long-term goals is to keep doing this until I'm 80 years old. That's the long-term. I can't complain at all. I mean... Uh, I can pay my bills, uh, health insurance, a little money to put aside, and I'm doing exactly what I love, which is just playing music and teaching it. Uh, I can't think of anything better to do. I mean, I just want to keep doing it. That's my goal. Wow. Yeah. That is excellent. How about some advice to up-and-coming players? Up-and-coming players, learn how to wear a lot of different hats. Learn <laughs> the business side of this because it's a music business. You need resilience. You need to be able to hear the, the, the word no a hundred times before you hear that yes. And you need to do your accounting. You need to know how to talk to people, keep records, all that stuff. And, of course, play. Number one. You gotta do that. <laughs> gotta have the goods. You gotta have the goods. As they say. Well, <laughs> we're gonna post your website, which is really easy to cruise around on. Photos, bios, your schedule, your CD availability, your guitar collection is up there. Yep. Or a good part of it. Some of it, yeah. Maybe someone would like to buy one of those guitars that's they up just there. may, you yes. Know? Give Toby a call. The idea gang is to go out and see some live music. That's what it's all about. And Toby Walker is one of the best. Thanks so much again, buddy. Yes, How about playing us out with one? Oh, I think we can What's do that. What's the name yeah. of this too now? Uh, I don't know. Nice. I'll think of something. <laughs> Toby Walker.
take a little walk with me. They know there's something, something I want you to see. Thanks so much, buddy. Thanks, Wes.